Good day Grade 12s, welcome to this first lesson in Week 2. In this week we're going to be looking at momentum and impulse. In this lesson we're going to be looking specifically at momentum. Let's talk about the definition of momentum. This is a man So let's do an example to reinforce what we've just learned. They've told us that we've got a thousand kilogram car, there's a nice bright yellow car. It is moving due west at 15 meters per second and it says find its momentum. So we know the equation P is equal to M times V, where P is momentum, M is mass and V times velocity. They've told us that the mass of the car is a thousand kilograms and we know the velocity is 15 meters per second and this is important because this velocity is a vector so therefore we need to know that it's going west. Therefore if we substitute these two into the equation we've got P equals mass times velocity which is going to be a thousand times 15 which is going to be 15 thousand and remember your units it's kilograms meters per second and then it's a vector so therefore we need to say the direction and direction is west nice and easy right now let's talk about change in momentum so now they say the car moves due west at 20 meters per second and they ask
Let's look at a slightly more complicated example. We've got a rubber ball of mass 0.9 kilograms is dropped and strikes the floor with an initial velocity of 4 meters per second. It bounces back with a final velocity of 2 meters per second. So let's draw that. We've got the ball and it's going down and it's dropping down at 4 meters per second and then it bounces back up at a velocity of 2 meters per second. Now velocity is a vector so therefore we need to worry about direction. So let us choose our initial direction as positive. Our initial direction is positive. So what does that mean? That means that this is going to be plus 4 and this is going to be minus 2 because it's in the opposite direction. Now we can apply our information to our equation. So we go delta P is equal to M VF minus VI. Okay, so now we can substitute in our numbers. So we can say 0, 9 our final velocity is going to be minus 2 minus our initial velocity which is 4 which becomes 0, 9 times our minus 6 which becomes minus 5,4 kilograms meters per second. But what does this minus mean? The minus is the direction and remember it says the momentum of the rubber ball caused by the floor. So if down was positive what is minus? Minus must be up and that makes sense because the floor is pushing the ball up. Okay so therefore we can say that the delta P is equal to 5,4 kilograms meters per second upwards. And that there is how we do a change momentum example. Please go practice this and then go do the examples in the tune able system. Have a great day.